is time once again for the River Valley's most popular and most talked about radio program. It's Garves Dollar Trade, and this is your opportunity to buy, sell, or trade absolutely free. Now, there are just a couple of things to keep in mind when you call into the show. No dogs or cats for sale, no real estate for sale, no firewood for sale, and only three items per call and only one call per show. So go ahead and grab that pen and paper and get ready for another edition of Carves Dollar Trade. If you're calling from outside of Polk County, just dial 1-800-457-3350. And all cell phones and Polk County callers can give us a call locally at 968-6100. Good afternoon, River Valley, and welcome to the 105 edition of Carbs Dial a Trade. I'll be your host, Bethany Lacey. Good afternoon, Carbs Dial a Trade. Good afternoon, Nick. I have between our regular size coffee, I'm not sure which one it was. Carbs Dial a Trade is an interactive radio program designed for members of the community. Listeners in the broadcasting area can call in to dial a trade three times a day to buy, sell, trade, or give away items. Callers can also announce events. There are some rules to dial a trade. No cats, dogs, real estate, or firewood for sale. And it almost goes without saying that callers can't sell people. You give stuff away over on this, on the, on this program? Yes, ma'am. Uh, can I give away my mother-in-law? <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, she eats a lot. She's always in the bathroom. Uh, she's free. I don't think we can give away people. All right, all right, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> well, almost goes without saying. We have a lot of fun on dial a trade Many of the same people call in show after show, day after day. We sort of have our own community. I've only met a handful of dial traders in real life, but I feel like I know many of our listeners fairly well. There's a lady from London who calls in every afternoon at 105. She always has the same spiel for dial a trade This is the lady from London, and I'm calling for non-working TVs and microwaves, computers and the monitors, window air conditioners, box fans, pedestal fans, vacuum cleaners, hand tools, um, small kitchen appliances, even big items like wash machines and dryers. If you got any of that sitting around, it's in your way and you won't get rid of it, give me a call. I will come pick it up. And I'm, by the way, my husband is looking for a 50-foot push-up pole. Mm -hmm. And if anybody's got one of those, give me a call at 970-8274. Well, dear, I listen to you uh, every day, every chance that I get. Uh, I try sometimes uh, twice a day, most of the time. It's whenever you guys are on, that's when I'm on. <laughs> We get a call probably about every other day, every time, not every day, but about every other day, I get someone from Dollar Trade says uh, that they've heard us on there and uh, ask questions as to exactly what all that we would take besides the TVs and the microwaves. And uh, we've, had, we've had people call us from Clarksville, from uh, up around Pelser. Uh, we've had... Uh, uh, let's see, some around Marlton, uh, Dardanelle, even up to around Center Valley, or Center, yeah, to Center Valley and then Centerville. But we have, uh, with this, everybody calling us and stuff, we uh, scrap out for the copper and the aluminum, and we've just been just blessed with everybody calling us, and we've been able to have it save up enough money to uh, buy a security camera system for our place here. And then we've also, every time that we've needed anything extra, once uh, our uh, wash machine went out, through dial a trade getting all the copper and the aluminum, we were able to have enough money when, it, when our wash machine went out, we were able to have enough money to get a new one. Same with a dryer about two or three months later. And then um, I, it took us about six months to get uh, money saved up and we were able to buy a brand new uh, refrigerator. So with, through, with Dial a Trade, we have been just blessed with people calling us. Then there's also the man from bright and sunny Dover who likes to call and give us weather updates from Dover. We've joked around a little bit on dial trade One of my favorite interactions with him on the radio went a little something like this. One day there's this man from Hector who called in to dial trade and 
he had his radio turned up a little too loud. He left his phone to go into a different room to turn down the radio. Whenever the radio goes and someone calls into the program and we answer, there's usually a little bit of feedback. Uh, the, the sounds overlap and it just makes this weird noise. The man realized that, so he gets up, goes to this other room. This man's disabled, by the way. And it takes him a little bit to come back to the phone to finish his ad. Well, he, he was started apologizing profusely. Told him, it's okay, sir, it happens all the time. Whenever he finished his ad, I hung up and decided to give my listeners a little science lesson. I told them that they should make sure the radio is turned down whenever they call into dial a trade, or else we'll get that woo noise over the air. And that's not a good noise to have. It distorts their ad and makes it to where people won't know what they're selling. Well, a few calls later, the man from Dover, he calls in, and he does his ad, and after he finishes, he asks me, what noise does the radio make again? And without missing a beat, I said, woo -hoo 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 -hoo. <laughs> and that's the man from Dover. I remember after the show, I called him back and thanked him for making my day a whole lot brighter. A buddy turned me on to that probably um, over 10 years ago. He was always listening to it and telling me about stuff. And, and I finally got it in my schedules to start listening to it. Typically, I never had time for the afternoon or the evening show. But uh, this spring, I've had time to uh, do all three shows. And uh, a really good, you know response different people I think you know I'm retired I run a dump truck but I'm, I'm retired and I buy cars and trucks and I refurbish them and resell them and I can't even take the numbers on many cars I've sold I try to get my ducks in a row when I call in and I've you know I've got my cheat sheet over by you know by the door and I go to the door so I don't interfere with the radio and make that little goofy noise <laughs> And I, you know, and I have it pretty much together. And I advertise, you know, antiques and old stuff I find, and like I say, and I rebuild, you know, trailers and cars and stuff. So they're on there, and just uh, I just try to keep it quick, you know, and get it over with. And some people, you know, they just hammer on and they repeat the same thing over and over again. It can be a, such a fun show with um, the right disc jockey down there taking care of it and enjoy and if they enjoy talking back I mean it's 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 really fun and um, there are some characters down there. I can always tell which of my dilatrators call in prepared. Not all of them make a list of items or what they want to say. Some of them call in while they're driving around. These guys usually stumble a little bit more than my well-prepared dilatrators. But there's no penalty in how much the dilatators prepare before the show. We have all kinds of characters calling in. These people are the highlight of my job, and I'm glad they've allowed me to be a part of their community. Good morning, Carp Radio. Yes, dilatory comes on at 805, 105, and 505 on weekdays, and 805 and 105 on Saturdays. We don't do it on Sunday. Okay, I'll talk to you at 105. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye.